everybody. Well, I've uh, been on the road four and a half years and painted the bus six years ago. It was the first year I was I was working on it. And in that time, uh, desert sun, scraping up against trees and uh, whatnot has really faded it. It's gotten really dull. You really wouldn't notice it. Um, day to day it, it looks like a dull paint job but this is what it used to look like I just darker blue it's that's faded that much I pulled stickers off you could probably and my uh, name off the side you can see it really definitely faded out and uh, the rub rails have rubbed up against a thing or two and uh, some of the paint on the edges here was curling back and it's just time to uh, give it a new paint job clean it up and and I got the new box that needs to be blue too now the problem is that if you look close and I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not but you see all these little spots on here and really see them but I also got to deal with some little surface rust that's starting to pop through but all these little spots, uh, that's oil. I had, I had a, uh, an oil leak or two over the last uh, couple years, with different things happening. And, uh, but what I found, and try something out, was this uh, barbecue grill cleaner. It's made to cut grease. Should work, right? Well, uh, it's pretty easy. I just spray it on. Take a shop cloth. Give it a wipe off. Takes a lot of the, it takes the dirt off and the oil and I just did this one over here was just as bad and you see it took off pretty much you know all of it I can try to get a spot right here and of course once it flashes off but this is where the old color this is the model E oil and this is where it's cleaned off so I pretty much got to wipe down this whole side. It's it's worse from this rub rail down, and but there's still spots up here, and you can't paint over oil. It'll just fish high up on you. So the first step is me doing that, and then I'll adjust or I will um, address the uh, rust that's starting to pop through, and we'll get to it. Oh, I got a long day ahead of me. Well, I got the vinyl stickers off. I'm leaving the map because I've already painted that before I put the map on. And I've cleaned up the oil on here. Now the next step is going to be to prep the surface. And it's real hard to sand in here and around the rivets. You can see where that's pretty much spots where it's bad plus a little bit of surface rust that's popping through and uh, you can really see it up here where the hard spots the sand are the places that uh, are the paints peeling off back down to the yellow so what I decided to do this time rather than try to sand that I am gonna blast it I'm not gonna do a head well the Prep the bus for painting uh, instead of sanding because I've got some unique issues. I'm using a this portable abrasive uh, sandblaster and uh, using this uh, sand. Basically, it's just got a. You need an airline. It's got a little gun and hose that it sucks this stuff up through and probably the reason I'm doing this is you can see like 
These are hard to sand to get in there. But if I use this, I can knock, knock the loose paint off, rough it up a little bit, the rough spots here. I'd be able to take it right down to the bare metal if I want. Um, so, but I'm just basically, I'm, I'm spot hitting this and hitting along the edges that are really hard to sand. And I'm not going to worry about like in the middle between these rub rails, those I'm going to, uh, I'll take a sander and go down. But like places like this, if I can blow the, the loose stuff off at the same time I'm roughing it up or down here, Spots that were a problem before around the rivets where it comes off. Uh, so that's the idea. And uh, it was like $35 for this set and another 40 bucks for the, uh, the medium. And let's see how far I go. That was all Harbor Freight. Uh, definitely going to put on a mask. And... Uh, and gloves and we'll just get doing it okay so uh there's no way i can do this whole the whole bus but is places like this where the adhesion was bad I mean over the last six years it's come off but this blast that away real nice I don't want to get this camera all covered in sand but it does a nice job of Knocking off anything that's loose, you know. And I painted this with a roller, so roller and a brush. And I was sort of in a hurry, but you get the general idea. And uh, and uh to get this all I'm just hitting all the high spots all the really bad spots and we'll go from there well, I know the bus looks a lot different <laughs> I skipped showing you guys a couple of steps uh, I blasted it I took a uh, orbital sander and Jax and I a couple of sanders sanded down all the flat surfaces in between I blasted these and uh did some minor body work nothing spectacular but all this white is primer uh the reason i use the white primer is because the store ran out of gray home um, gray primer is what i used over here and i think either one's not going to matter but uh i masked off the blue or the yellow reflector strips because I keep them and then I'm masking off all the windows. I'm leaving that one for ventilation tonight and this one for uh, being able to see out and I'll mask those up just before I paint because um, if we're going to clean a spot out over here get it away from the building to do the paint in case there's any kind of mist overspray uh, we don't want to get it on there. So yeah Furry Overlord is inspecting everything. But let me show you how I uh, how I'm doing the masking. Okay, most people would try to tape the paper right up right away. What I do is mask around the edges.
If you want to know why I've been able to do this as fast as I am, is I spent 27 years doing this, asking, asking parts and painting them. And also, as you saw, I've been practicing on the other side of the bus. Okay, so I've got it masked around the edges. Now, now we just take a piece of paper. You can buy this stuff. I bought it at uh, Lowe's or Home Depot. Uh, they come in like 140 foot rolls. I think the last one, when I first did the bus, I had so much left over. I think I finally used that up two years ago, helping somebody. See, it makes it easy. You're taping along the edges, then tape the paper to the, to the tape that's along the edge. And we move on to the next window. All right, the bus is all masked off. The wind died down, I hope. <laughs> I'm gonna paint it. The only thing left to mask is the door and the bumper. But uh, the wind has already blown the tape. The trouble we have is that the tape doesn't, isn't made to stick to the tape. So it's coming loose when the wind gets underneath. But the plan is, paint the top half from the, this up first, off the ladder, and then if that blows off, I don't care. So that's the plan. My smiling audience is Jax, Wanderboom. He's in the, he's in the uh, expensive seats where they actually feed you and have shade. <laughs> so I'm gonna put on my Tyvek suit, otherwise known as the sauna suit, and lose about 20 pounds while I'll be doing this. All right, so let me uh, mix the paint up. I'm gonna thin the paint down so it sprays a little easier, and uh, we'll get to do that first. It's like I can do a point to a point and a half. I'm gonna put a point in of uh, acetone, which will also make it flash off faster, hopefully before flies and stuff. Get blown into it so let me get mixing that up and uh we'll get uh painting so i'm going to thin this paint down i mean it's a little on the thick side but i want to stir this up start at the bottom until i raise it up and down until i get a siphon going that gets all that anything that's any pigment that's down the bottom gets that mixed in. I was looking around for a piece of paper. To <laughs> Here. Here. I was brushing or I was uh, rolling it that's it I just do it right out of the can but spraying it wants to be a little bit uh, thinner and notice I'm holding this can sideways and it's not glugging that's a trick <laughs> that's how you can do it without spilling too much on your foot I'm adding a point of acetone to it. This is going to make it pretty thin.
you don't want it sucking too much air down in, but you get some bubbles, but it's not going to hurt too much. And I don't spin it fast because it'll just be all over the place. And why did you choose acetone for this paint? Because it says so on the can. <laughs> this is just a little Harbor Freight job. I like the fact that it's got a strainer on the bottom so any chunks that are in there are gonna get caught and not plug up the gun. And in this gun, this adjusts the spray pattern width. This is how much paint's coming through and this is how much air is coming in. So um, you can adjust how much air on the, the compressor, but uh, now the fun part. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't fill it all the way up. I fill it close to the, that, that, because, hey, I got more paint. And this, make sure when you put the, this on, get that. And make sure this is on both of those, because you don't want to be spraying and have it drop off. Trust me. You don't want to have that happen, especially if you got thinner in there and get a face full of thinner, because then you get to visit the eye doctor twice in my life. It's nice to have something to practice on to make sure you got it set up right. That's pretty wide. That looks pretty good. Let's try it on the actual bus. See you around the other side. Couple of trips. If I wanted to just hit this edge, I could actually turn, take the nozzle, turn it sideways, and then the pattern is that way. So that, you know, if I put it this way, the pattern is this way. Uh, when you're painting, you have the gun moving before you pull the trigger. If I just pull the trigger a little bit, I'm getting there. If I pull it all the way, I get paint. So you want to be starting the paint off of your your surface. So you're constantly starting and stopping. So you're off, you know, if you start right on the you go, oh, if you start right on it, so you only start pulling right here and then move. It gets real heavy, you get a sag, or run, which you don't want. So, so I was lifting my arm above my head, it hurt.
anything on this hill. Huh? Anything on this hill. All right, bus is painted, two coats on the big areas. All the rub rails got hit a couple times because we color changed, they hit the storage compartments and every, everything from this rub rail down got two coats. It's just these little panels in here that didn't, but they don't get hit that bad. This is how much paint I have left over from a gallon. Get an idea. That's it. One gallon of paint did the whole bus. Um, if, because I painted it, um, the same color, it's easy. I'm cover covering the same color and there's some primer that I put on for the spots. You saw it in the beginning where it was all white and gray stripes. Uh, if you're doing this from scratch, going from yellow, sand to do all the prep work, Paint it with a gray automotive primer. That kills the yellow. May, gray is easier to cover up with a color than yellow. You'd still probably put two coats on. Originally, I put one coat and I rolled it on. Um, this is what I used this time. Last time I used Ace Hardware's version. Because um, it's close. Yeah, it's a shade difference, but the Ace Hardware's around here didn't have it. But got this at Lowe's, it's just Rust-Oleum. They got a bunch of different colors. This is oil-based. Uh, cleaning it up, thin it. It says thin it with acetone and clean it up with mineral spirits. So cleaning the gun is easy. Just dump it in there. And then I get away from the bus and I, I spray it. It's gonna come out clear real quick. But I just shake it up. It's gonna clear the clean the paint off of there, run it through. I can run it through a couple times. And um, when I'm done, I'm gonna dump, I dump it in a bucket. Mineral spirits burns really well. So I wanna start a campfire mineral spirits or uh, lots and lots of paper and tape we got both now so yeah so that's it that's the uh, paint in the bus again uh, after six years so um, talk toyed with the idea of putting a top coat or clear coat over it um, I've decided not to it probably would let it make it last longer but in six years from now, I'll find somebody that wants to learn how to paint and I'll teach them how to paint. So, all right, I'll see you later, YouTube.
Hi, I'm Steve. I'm a smartass. Go ahead. Oh, you're recording. <laughs>